Hello and welcome to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to follow up on one of my previous videos, which was on 10 Microsoft Whiteboard Tips. This is 10 more Microsoft Whiteboard Tips. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like. If you want more tips like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you haven't seen the previous video, it's here in my library. I hope you enjoy these tips and I hope you use them in your own classroom and learning. Let's go have a look at the tips. Okay, let's look at 10 tips on how to use the Microsoft Whiteboard, 10 more tips. So the first thing I'm going to do is how do we put text onto a whiteboard? Well, in my insert menu, I'm going to hit the text and I'm going to call this camping plan. So we're going to create a fictitious camping trip plan where we're going to be able to plan out some camping trips. I'll put this at the top of the whiteboard and you'll notice that if I right click on it, I can click on the little text button and I can change the color of the text. Let's make it green. Camping strikes me as an event that should be green. Now you can also go in and you can put alt text in here and I can say camping plan for our, let's make it a scout troop. So we're going to have a scout troop that likes to go camping. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more text in there. And the first text I'll put in here is supplies and I'll create another text in here. I'll insert another text and we'll call this uh, meals. And I'll create another text called activities. So we're creating text in here, activities. Okay, so we've got three different text boxes in here, including the main one up there. You'll notice when I bring the text box up here, if I go in and uh, bring it close to another text box, It'll actually give me a style grid so that it aligns them. So we have a camping plan, click on it, go into the alternate text, gives me some information about it. And I can go in and change the color as well. So if I click on the text here, you can go in and change the color. So let's make supplies will be blue and we'll make meals will be, I don't know, let's make them light blue and activities. Let's go ahead and make those a purple just to give some visual appeal to it. So that was tip number one, adding text. And then tip number two, the alt text. Let's have a look at uh, going in and creating tip number four, which is creating some lists. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in a new list. So underneath supplies, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a supply list. And what I can put in here is maybe the common supplies that I have that are part of camping. So we'll just do a simple one here. So it's not going to be comprehensive because this is a tips video and not a camping video. So we'll do a backpack, sleeping bag, tent, and we'll put hiking poles. So obviously there's a lot that we could put in here, but we'd put some supplies in here. Then what I can do is I can move things around. So I'll just move the supplies over here, move activities maybe way over here and I'll put meals in the middle somewhere around there. And then I can put in that list. So tip number four was putting in a list. Tip number five is putting in a list that has follow-ups. Very similar to a list, but underneath here, what I'll do is I'll put meal plan. And what we'll do is we can put people in charge of each meals. So we'll have three meals a day. We'll have breakfast. We will have lunch, we will have dinner, and of course we'll have snacks. Okay, four meals, okay? And then what I can do is you'll notice an assign button is here, and I'll assign to this guy named Frank. Now right now the only person on this whiteboard is me, so I'm going to be assigned all of the different tasks. Well, you know, normally we want to break that out, but for now we'll assign it all to one person. Okay, that's tip number uh, that's tip number five, which is follow-up lists. Now the other thing I can do is I can actually like these different activities. So or li a supply list and stuff. Actually, underneath activities, let's do another tip, which is putting in a note grid. So I'll go in and I'll put in a note grid. Now underneath the note grid, what I can do is I can have a number of activities in here, and I can just scroll over, right, and underneath the activities. We can go in and do activity ideas. And then people can just come in and maybe one person wants to go uh, scuba diving and one person wants to go rock climbing and one person wants to go, I don't know, just hiking, plain old hiking. So all of these are very cool. You can even add more notes in here. 
let's say somebody says, oh, you know, I know another good idea is we're going to go in a canoe. So there's all sorts of different things that we can do. And then people can come in and they can actually choose that activity and like it. So people can go in and like. Now each member is able to click one like, so I only have the option of one like, but if other people came in, it would increment this counter by one as each person liked it. So we're starting to build a really nice little plan here. I'm gonna go ahead and take these likes off here just to clean it up and that's coming up for a tip that's coming up a little bit later on. So the other thing that we can do besides doing a note grid in there is we can also, let's say I wanna create some separation in here. I can go in and I can use my ruler. Now you'll notice the ruler comes in at a 45 degree angle. I can grab it with my mouse and move my ruler around and I can use my center scroll wheel of my mouse in order to scroll that ruler and move it to another angle. So in this case here, I'm moving it to a 90 degree angle. And then what I can do is just maybe clean this up a little bit by drawing some straight lines here, making it look a little bit more visually appealing. Again, I can just quickly scroll it, make it zero degrees here, and then maybe put like a nice top on top of this. So I'll put a, grab my pen and make sure that we draw a line across the top. So you can see that I've got some nice ruled lines in there. So that's another example, another tip, how to use your ruler, how to scroll your ruler, and how to draw a straight line using your ruler. The other thing that we can do is, let's say there are certain things that we wanna highlight. So let's say, for example, I put in some sort of uh, text in here. I'll just put another text box in here and we'll make it safety. And what I wanna do is underneath safety, I have some you know safety ideas is, let's say, uh, you know, first aid kit. So we wanna make sure that we have the first aid kit in there. And that's really important to me. So I wanna to go to my pens. Underneath the highlighter, if I click on the highlighter and hold it down my mouse button, I can choose the thickness of my highlight and I can also choose the color of the highlight. Let's highlight this in sort of an orange color. And because I've got a nice thick square pen here, when I go in here, that's gonna give me a nice thick pen on there and I've highlighted the fact that I need to make sure I bring a first aid kit. So that was using the highlighter. Now let's say for example um, I have some information on here that I put on here by accident. I put a squiggly line on there or put a triangle on there, something on there and I want to get rid of this all at once. What I can do is choose the lasso and then what I can do is I can just go in and create a square around all this object and delete it. So now I've just deleted it. So that's my next tip, using the lasso. So let's have a look at my last tip here, which is how to use a template. And if I look at my entire camping plan, let's say I want to use this and do a camping plan every single month. So I, I have sort of this outline here of what we're going to do, and I kind of like this camping plan. I can hit Control A in order to take this entire camping plan, and then I can copy it. So control A selects everything and then I've copied it. If I go back, I can create a new whiteboard and paste it. And now you'll notice that I have a camping plan here and I have, whoop, grab this here. We'll just try that again. It'll save those changes and I have a camping plan here. So you can see that I have two camping plans. This here is the camping plan. I just have to center it in here. And if I go in here, make sure that we have that in there. Okay, so I have a camping plan in there. So I have two camping plans here and here. But this camping plan here with supplies and meals, what I wanna do is if I click on here, right, click on the whiteboard here, I can call this camping plan template. Now I have an entire video on using templates, but now I've got camping plan template. All I need to do if I wanna do a brand new camping trip is I click on this, I open up everything, control A to copy everything, go ahead and copy it, go back, create a new whiteboard, control, paste, paste it all in, go back and you'll notice that I now have a new whiteboard that I just created and we'll call this April trip. And now I've got the April trip. And if I go and create a new whiteboard, right click, paste, and notice it all comes in as a template, I can go back, and I'll call this May trip. So we have all these different trips that I can go on and I just use that from that one template. 
So I've got this camping plan template that I can go in, select everything, and I can make many, many trips out of it over you know the period of a year or whatever I want to do. So that's a great way to do templates. Now the final tri uh, bonus uh, tip number 11 is let's say I want to get rid of everything. What I can simply do is go into my pens, hit my eraser and hold it down and clear canvas and it will go ahead and clear everything on this entire canvas and make it all clear for me. All cleaned up. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those tips. So there's 10 more exciting, well, 11 more exciting ways that you can use the Microsoft Whiteboard. It's a very powerful tool and it's pretty easy to use once you get used to all the various features. Think creatively of how you can use them in your classroom and I think you'll find that it becomes an indispensable part of your teaching. Thank you so much for watching. Again, hit like, hit subscribe to get more videos like this and share with colleagues that might benefit from this as well. It really does help the YouTube algorithm if you're hitting that like, certainly if you're subscribing. So thank you so much for watching. Here are some more videos that you might be interested in.